released on the 1st of March. And we've added a script, a script that uh, has been explained already here on uh, this website, archmerge.com, and it's called How to Speed Up Your Computer During Building. So it's about using all your cores. If you press Ctrl Alt T and you ask the H top, okay, and then you move it to the right. We're in open box, by the way, so super arrow to the left. Uh, I mean, <laughs> indeed, left. Um, we see here we have four cores on this laptop. So, okay, fine. But are we using those four cores? That's the topic of the video. We're not using it. Arch is not tuned or tweaked that way that you use uh, all the cores. He don't, doesn't know your hardware and it's not set. So we need to set it ourselves. So in 6.5.1, I've added a script to the system and it's hidden away in the open box, in the .config open box script. It's the same one as in the article. So well, let me show you what we're talking about. If we want to install something like Packer Polybar, it's a great example. You see that there's a reason why I took it. Here you see in the example we did some testing and it, sees, it shows that 2 minutes and 50 seconds before the tweaks and after the tweaks only 55 seconds. So we boosted our system considerably. And another computer, this is the laptop we're talking about, two minutes, uh, 5 minutes to 2 minutes, almost 3 minutes. So that's great as in speed uh, improvement. We've used Polybar because Polybar is quite heavy to do it and we've added it a month ago. So if we run Polybar and we have HTOP active, then we can follow what's going on. So these are my cores, one, two, three, and four. So this one is 100% and all the rest are sitting by doing nothing, waiting, and my system is not being used as it should be. My fans are uh, working here by the way but well not the cores the cores are waiting for things to do so control c can we improve can we speed up our system check out also the graph here there's a reason why it's there okay now let's go back and say dear system we have four cores and in the dot config in 6.5.1 otherwise go to the article there you can find this script I go in open box in scripts in use all cores make package configuration version 1 meaning it's going to change something it's going to change going to figure out hey how many cores does this computer have and if the number of cores is 8 then you do this if it's 4 you do this if it's 2 with this otherwise we don't know what to do okay then we're going to change this file, etcmakepackage.conf. That's what we're going to change. And we're going to run it. But maybe, maybe, just maybe, we should go and see what's it all about. So, makepackage.conf, that's the file. I want to change <coughs> a few things. I want to change this one, 44. And I want to change this one okay so these two lines are in here change the make flags g2 and change the compression so in these two lines we can actually boost our system and make it go faster so that's what we want to do uh, close too much here so we go and run this script so open the terminal here 000 use all cores that's what we're telling them type in your master keywords password yep done you can check it out it will be changed uh, in here make package.conf here it says now that you have four cores to compress your AOR package builds and all that and up here it says you have four cores to make flags so one uh, extra than you have that's the rule okay so Eric, is there a difference if we run Packer again? Can you show me that you're actually telling the truth? So, yes, we want to install no and no. 
and check out the graph bin beside here check out my processor power here four cores are being used check out the conky to the side I think I have improved my system of course the cooler is going to work harder <laughs> the fan is making some noise saying whoa he wants me to work so I have to cool down my CPU but hey that's normal so there you go you'll have um, you'll see that building up polybar is a real improvement and we've all we've me measured it all here on the website so here somewhere is also the reference to the script so as of arch merge we have this here so that's what we did and you can change it manually here as well it's also on the githubs any github for arch merged with a d you can find it there as well so that's a great tip whether you do it is up to you all right enjoy